text-to-voice synthesis provided by Vidnami. Second, Declaration of Independence, No Contract. January 19, 2021 by Anna Von writes. This is not a comment about the content of the so-called Second Declaration of Independence that has been circulated on the web, because I haven't read it. I don't have to read it to know that it is another British barrister's trick, and here's why. Ever heard of a, chain of title? If you have claim to a piece of property, any kind of property, and that claim is based on a title or contract that is transferred over time, you must be able to demonstrate a step-by-step -step valid ownership interest transferred to you by the original grantor or patent holder. This is called a, chain of title, because each transfer of ownership represents a link in the, chain, linking the property to you. Guess what happens if one link fails? The chain of title breaks and you are out of luck. The same thing happens with all such claims and contracts. Write this in big letters, if there is a break between you and the original contract, you lose it. That is what has happened to our federal subcontractors as a result of their own actions, and now they are trying to bait us into similarly castrating ourselves. The, second, declaration is a lawyer's trick to sucker us into destroying our own claim to all that the Declaration of Independence established. If you accept a, second, declaration of independence, you cause a break between you and the original declaration of independence, and as a result, you lose all that your forefathers won, your land, your soil, your independence, your sovereignty, your natural unalienable rights, all tossed away by your own hands. And wouldn't our enemies love that, if we were stupid enough to, voluntarily, forfeit all that our forefathers won, by accepting a, second, declaration of independence, we don't need any, second, declaration of independence. The original still stands as glorious today as it ever was and ever shall be. And it is the only bedrock source of American independence and sovereignty. Lose our direct connect to the original declaration of independence or foolishly exchange it or give it away for anything else, and we lose everything. So did our mothers raise stupid children? Despite Bill Gates' claims about how stupid Americans are, we are not that stupid by a long shot.